Hi guys, so I want to share another story with you today. Today I want to talk about the disaster that goes by the nickname Ken Zolciak Beerman. Okay, so we all know on um, last night, two nights ago episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kim admitted to Sheree that Candy had offered her to eat her box. Okay, and I'm going to assume you know what that means, okay? Because remember, I'm shy. I don't want to really go there. Box. Okay, so, and Sheree was shocked, and so was the entire audience. Like, it was crazy. It was, just, just to say that, it was insane. Then, Candy gets online. She's furious. These start, two start fighting on Twitter about all of this. Now, remember, Candy says, I'm sick of you bitches lying on me. Basically, it went on and on, on and on. But those were the gist of it. Kim basically came back, said, I'm not lying. And, you know, you wouldn't be on the show if it wasn't for me. Candy says, you know, I am the show. I'm paraphrasing here because I don't want to rehash this nonsense. It's absolutely nonsense. And I feel bad. Because Candy had to go through this nonsense last season when Phaedra and Portia was going around say, basically saying the same thing but adding to it that she had a sex dungeon and it was really, really bad. So bad that Phaedra lost her job behind it. And for this season, I thought, well, you know, I felt bad for so bad for Candy last season. I thought, well, you know, Phaedra's gone. It'll be the end of this. Okay, but no, it's not the end of it. Now, Kim is lightly... No, accusing her of the same thing. Okay, so, but now the blogs are talking. There's rumors going around as to Kim's true motives of saying these crazy things. And it's because of money. This, this is what the rumors are. Kim is doing this because of money. And I thought, money? She has her own show. So I had to do a little research. And this is absolutely right. So let's go back. Now, remember... Kim met, when Kim met Croy, Croy was playing football for the Atlantic Falcons. He, he played from 08 to 2015. And after he got dropped from the Falcons, he signed a new contract with um, Buffalo. That's who it was. And uh, they signed him in August and dropped him September 2nd. So, in other words, Croy hasn't had a job since 2016. Now, Kenya was the first one to bring this to the money problems to our attention. She said last year that Kim was broke. And Kim, uh, they were arguing on Twitter. Kim um, responded back, I'm not broke. You know, bitch, bitch, bitch. You know, they like to call each other that. In a loving way, I think. Not so loving. Okay, so. But, you know, at the time, it could have easily been just something that you say in an argument, you know broke you know that's what i call a lot of people broken arguments you know i do th mean things call people fat you know call people's children ugly you know i'm a real dirty fighter okay so so i didn't really think too much of it now after that there was rumors going around that kim was even in more danger than everybody thought that she was really close to losing her house and it got so bad that she threw a party for Brielle on the show and she got sued for not paying that bill and they had to settle that I think it was $20,000 she didn't even pay the $20,000 now you would think Kim Zolciak had $20,000 listen don't assume anything people a lot of people can fake it as if they have a lot of money when they don't you know Kim has six children um that's six mouths to feed, plus her and Croy. Croy isn't working, and she lives in this fam fa uh, fabulous mansion. Now, rumor has it that she's been poking around with storylines for a while now because her show only aired, I may believe it was 12 episodes, and it, she, she was out of money. This is what forced her to go back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She admitted to going back to the Housewives of Atlanta because of money. She said, I'll do anything for money. She verified, verified that comment on the Steve Harvey show. I will do anything if the price is right. So according to the rumors, they have been fishing around to get back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta full time. So, you know, when Candy was tweet tweeting, you're just doing this for a storyline, she was telling the truth. And according to the rumors, it all started with Nene Leaks and Roachgate that her and Brielle intentionally put these uh, Roachgate, these videos on 
social media to strike controversy. Kim is fishing for a storyline. These are the rumors. These are the rumors. Now, it's in, according to the rumors, out of all the women, Kim has the least money. And out of all the women, Candy has the most money. Nene has the second most money. She, the rumor is she kept fishing, trying to strike up controversy, and to get a peach, I mean, yeah, a Georgia peach full-time now. She wants to be on that show full-time. And word is that her other show doesn't bring as much money as Real Housewives of Atlanta does. Now, I started thinking about this. Is this a crazy rumor? I don't think so. I'm leaning toward, no, this is the damn truth, child. Listen, we all know that since Nene got on the show, she turned herself into a millionaire. She has a boutique, she has businesses, she had other side jobs, she was even on Broadway. She's bringing in money. We all know Candy's situation. Candy has the most money on the show. So, it's not hard for me to believe that of all the women, Kim is the brokest. Okay, and she decided to jump on a storyline that already existed. This blew up the whole sick, uh, Candy Todd having threesomes last season. And it was a huge rating spikes. It was a huge, uh, it was always in the uh, tabloids, always in the, you know, it raked in ratings. And so I guess since, now this is my opinion, because I'm leaning towards the rumors. Since Roachgate didn't do so good, because you see on the show, Nene was kind of calm about it. It wasn't something that was going to last seasons and seasons and seasons, because at the end of the day, who gives a damn? That just sounded like a lie to start with. Uh, Nene lives in a brand new mansion. I doubt it has, it's crawling with roaches. Even so, I thought about this. Kip contradicted herself in the same episode. She said she liked Portia, but you know, what Candy went through was a bad thing. You know, uh, serious allegations is what she said, serious allegations. Then she ends up create, uh, throwing out her own allegations. Now, Portia jumped on board because she's already on shaky grounds with Mimi and, you know, the re and Candy. So, I'm believing these rumors, everyone. This is all stirred up to inflate Kim Zosiak Bierman's wallet. Her pocketbook, because while she likes to live like she has a lot of money, like the other women, in reality, I'm thinking she doesn't. There is truth to this rumor. I mean, Croy's not working. Their only source of income is what comes off of reality television. So, you know, now, will her plot work? We shall see. I mean, I really hope it doesn't work. Because, just because Candy is rich and has a lot of money, does not give everyone a right to drag her name through the mud. Now we all know this isn't the first time that Kim Zosiak has been caught using Candy as an ATM machine. <laughs> Remember when Candy clearly wrote that song, Don't Be Tardy for the Party, on national television, but Kim didn't give her her cut of the money, and Candy had to take her to court. The only reason C Candy lost that case is because Phaedra Parks was her attorney. <laughs> no, I mean, no offense. I mean, a blind man could have seen Candy was the sole purpose that that song was a hit. Remember, Camp can't sing. Not at all. I mean, that song was auto-tuned to its finest auto tunism Did I make up a word? I think I did. But you get the point. Will her plot work? We shall see. I mean, I really hope it doesn't work because just because Candy is rich and has a lot of money does not give everyone a right to drag her name through the mud. That's mixed with jealousy and trying to fatten your own pockets. Listen, Candy went through enough last season. She does not need this, these allegations, these lies told about her again. So I hope that Kim's plot to fatten her wallet does not work. I mean, I'm sorry, you have to do overtime someone else. Maybe you know you can, you know, start putting in some applications at the Week channel. You know, they do reality TV too. You know, that's just what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comment section, do you agree with these rumors? Do you think Kim is doing all of this craziness to get a full-time, her full-time job back at Rural Housewives of Atlanta? When she basically admitted it on the Steve Harvey show. In 
In the meantime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more stories like these. Talk to you next time. Bye.